Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh Snipes and if you're just checking out this channel for the first time, today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite series called How to Play an Operator. Now How to Play an Operator is a series that I started with How to Play Ibana and I plan to carry out with all the operators. Also if they get any big changes, either nerfs or buffs, I'll make sure to leave a comment or some sort of annotation in the description that lets you guys know what exactly that change was because I've seen so many changes ever since at least my first videos come out from the series so it's very important that you guys double check that this series is how to play an operator within a team environment how to play with your team and the role that you feel on that team now these views are subject to what i've seen on pro league challenge league go for is how i play and how i've seen others play but it will help you whether you're solo queuing or if you're running in a five stack now remember that different regions have different play styles and that individual players have personal preferences but overall this is how i believe you should play the operator anyways guys let's start off with how to play maverick now maverick actually came to us back in year three season three that's gonna be operation grim sky under the organization grim sky urban tactical response team and he was actually came with clash now both these characters are new in total there's not anything like them there's not really too much to counter maverick especially and we're gonna go over that in a little bit but honestly maverick has been one of my favorite characters to play because of his gadget because of his speed and because of his loadout now this is one of the things that makes Maverick Maverick, and he's such a deadly operator when he gets in the right hands. Now his gadget is honestly one of my favorite things that makes Maverick Maverick. It's not only that, but he's a three speed. So with that speed combined with the gadget, it makes for a deadly combination. Now his gadget is a breaching torch. It has five canisters. You do have to reload them and it does run out. So it doesn't go on forever, which is a good thing because when you see how this plays, and I don't know if you've ever played against Maverick before, very hard to kill and very annoying to deal with. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Maverick doesn't have any hard counters at all. I mean, honestly, the only counter there really is is for you to shoot him, which that's a counter to everyone, so I wouldn't even count that as a counter. But his gadget allows him to break through castle barricades, you can break through soft barricades, you can break through soft walls, you can break through reinforced walls, you can take down deployable shields, barbed wire, and an evil eye, and a bunch of other stuff that honestly, not a lot of the other gadgets can take down by themselves. Now, Maverick also has some great synergy actually with teams. He's really good if you don't have a Thatcher or say Thatcher's band. He's really good at filling that role on some maps, not every single map. But if you have a lack of Thatcher and you can at least use Maverick and say a Thermite or Hibana, that makes a great quick fix for that issue. Now, he also works great for Blackbeard because the hole he pokes is reinforced all around it. So you just get a Blackbeard with a unbreakable shield on his face and you honestly have paired yourself up with a sniper that can't be killed now make sure you also if you need to because of Cade you kind of run in the issue of trying to track down where exactly Cade's electro claw is on the wall either drawing it out or have IQ come along and make sure to point it out for you now, one last thing I decided I wanted to point out is that it can open soft and reinforced hatches. Also, if you run, if you don't have a thermite or hibana, you can actually open a hole that you can vault through or at least a big enough hole to plant in. Either one works, but you can do that also with Maverick. That's what makes him so versatile and that's what makes him such a strong operator and you're going to see here with his loadout. Now, diving on into the loadout, he has two primaries that he comes with. You have the AR-15.50. Now, this is a semi-automatic gun. It does a lot of damage, but the only problem with a semi-automatic gun is the issue of if you miss. Now, especially on my console players, I would not recommend this gun. A lot of times, DMRs just don't do well in this game, and that's not the DMR's fault. It's just the nature of the game that high rate of fire guns or even just automatic guns do a lot better just because the headshot is one shot kill. Now, speaking of automatic guns, he has a second primary, which I would normally go with 10 times out of 10, and that's the M4. Now, this is one of my favorite guns in the game. It packs a punch. It has a great rate of fire. The recoil is manageable as long as you put a vertical grip on it, and especially once you get that down, it's a lot easier than angled grip. So just spend a lot of time on his M4. His M4 will end up becoming your baby because you have a three-speed Maverick with an M4 and a great utility. It ends up becoming a great combination that can get you a lot of kills. Now, taking a look at his secondary, you have the 1911 Tac Ops, pretty much the same as FBI's. But it's nothing to write home about. Does a lot of damage. The rate of fire really could be a little bit higher. But I think if it comes down to your pistol battle, you're going to win off of damage if you have to hit body shots. But normally you should be aiming for the head anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. 
Now, lastly, you have two gadgets to choose from. You have the Claymore and the Stun Grenade. Now, if you're playing more of the support role, Maverick, like I usually do, I usually go with the Claymore just because I end up having to help out the Thermite or help out the Hibana, trying to get hatches open or trying to get the wall open. So I end up using that Claymore to help guard flanks and make sure no one's able to jump out on us. But if you're more of sort of the frag maverick, then I would definitely go with the stun grenades because that'll fit your playstyle a lot easier than using the claymore. And plus, you'll be able to clear out ADSs in case for another teammate. And that's always a good thing if you have someone with frag grenades on your team who's trying to get in. So moving on over to the tips and tricks of this video. Now, I know this is going to be something a lot of people are going to be looking at. Now, the first one that I want to showcase is how to open a hatch with Maverick. And now you're thinking, why is this a tip and trick? Because a lot of people really don't know how to do this efficiently. It should only take two and a half canisters. Now, two and a half canisters, you can do two hatches because there's five canisters in total. Two and a half times two is five. So you're going to basically come to the hatch and you're going to have to hit three sides pretty much to be able to knock it on off and make sure that there's no reinforcement from the hatch that is stuck to the sides of the hatch or anything like that. That did happen to me here. So it's a good demonstration point that I actually accidentally did. Now, a big point of this though, is that there are a couple different ways to open the hatch, but this is how I just do it out of normalcy. And it's the best way that I have found because you can't really get shot too easily, especially when you're laying down. Now moving on over to the next trick that I have for you guys, it's going to be, I'm just going to call it a Maverick trick, I don't know exactly if there's even a name for this yet, but basically let's say you have a two bandits on the wall, and I know this clip was from earlier, but this is a continuation of the clip from earlier with the bandits. Now you have to get those bandits off the wall, No, you can't hang upside down any longer, so that's part of one of the nerfs that they actually came out with. It wasn't normal for you to be able to stand upside down on this wall or repel upside down on this wall and be able to do this. But basically, you're gonna have to take out those bandits. Now you're clear for a thermite to hang upside down and blow it open. But if you don't have a thermite or if you have a buck and you wanna get in a lot easier, what you do is you pretty much take out the top of this reinforcement. You can do it at any level height, but I usually just do it at the very top so that way there's no issues. And you have to take out every single tiny piece of reinforcement. You see that little tiny piece there that's on the right of me right there? I have to take that out or else it's not going to come on down. And I took me a second to kind of figure that out, but I end up figuring it out. And you also have to take out there are reinforcements that stick to the walls on the right. So you see me go lay down, try to figure out where it is. And you see right there is what's stuck. And as soon as I pop that, the whole thing comes off the board. And basically, you can get a buck, any sort of soft breaching or anything like that to blow it on open. I used Bandit C4 to just demonstrate it really quickly, and it makes things a lot easier. Now, with those two tricks in mind, I decided I want to show you guys a trick that I knew about probably from the beginning of Maverick, but I don't see too many people using it. Now, I don't know if that's whether it's not super useful in game or whether people just don't know about it. So I thought I would just demonstrate it here and then you can kind of make that decision what you want to do with it by yourself. And this is really just if you don't have a Hibana, this is a really easy quick fix to get rid of Amira. So basically, there are four pillars or for whatever you want to call them foundations that hold down a mirror to a reinforcement wall and you can take it off really really easy it's gonna be right here right here and then there is two on the top and so basically you're just gonna want to maverick out those little posts that they have that are sticking on out and it honestly doesn't take very long you don't need to make this big hole or anything and it opens up a, a mirror hole which leaves a giant gap in this reinforcement I don't know if I would advise doing this all the time but there are some specific situations where this might actually become useful and therefore I decided I'd just show it to you guys and let you guys know now, as for the last trick, this is going to be just showing you guys really quickly how to get a Kade off of a hatch. If you guys do run into this issue, now this isn't the end all be all because sometimes Kades can put it on an indestructible surface, which makes it that much harder. But I feel like this is a good idea in case you run into a Kade and you need to help Thermite or Hibana get it off of the hatch or even get it off of the wall. It's kind of the same concept, but just on a reinforced wall. You saw me drone that on out. I just open up the hatch really quickly, able to shoot it. It's going to be a pretty quick fix if you do run into this issue. Issue. Now, this is the same thing with a reinforced wall, especially on Clubhouse where you can kind of repel onto that reinforced wall. You can get it anywhere you want. Just make sure you drone it out or have IQ tell you exactly where it is, as I mentioned earlier, and you're going to be A-OK. -okay. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was a really informative video, and I hope this helped you guys out a lot, and I hope you pick up Maverick, one of my favorite characters. I can't stress it enough how much I love playing him. Make sure, though, that you guys practice the Maverick tricking, practice with his gadget, because 
it does have sort of a learning curve because there's a couple different ways you can open different things and different objects. So try to get used to how fast and how s slow you need to go in order to open things up and you'll be a-okay. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap things up for today. Let me know if you have any Maverick tricks down below or tips that you guys want to let the community know. And this is going to be it. This is going to be Josh Snipes signing off. 15 seconds left. No one's in blue. Do you have an echo drone? Oh. Get on the mirror window. Or on the mirror spot. Five seconds left. Four last operation. Right side, right yes! side. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, cool. yes! Oh, oh my go. god! <laughs> what? What just happened?